Four police officers charged in the death of Elijah McClain. Good evening, I'm Michaela White. And I'm Michael Spencer. Prosecutors called their final witness today before turning the case over to the defense. Your reporter Rick Salinger has been covering this trial from day one and has an update for you tonight. For its final witness, the Attorney General's office called a doctor who has been cited as an expert on deaths in law enforcement custody. Dr. Roger Mitchell is a forensic pathologist and was paid $40,000 for his opinion. What caused Elijah McClain's death? Complications following acute ketamine administration during violent subdural and restraint by law enforcement and emergency response personnel. <laughs> The doctor also said that the treatment the 23-year-old received from police may have contributed to his death. Is the physical restraint that the officers have him held in here, does that contribute to the danger and risk of death that the ketamine injection causes? Yes. The attorneys representing the police officers tried to portray Dr. Mitchell as biased. If a person is involved in a physical confrontation, with police, and then ultimately that person ends up dying, you believe that is always going to be a homicide, right? No. In the case of Elijah McClain, Dr. Mitchell found the manner of death to be homicide. Officially, it is undetermined. After hearing the defense witnesses and closing arguments, it'll be up to the jury to decide the outcome of this case. Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Your reporters Rick Salinger and Karen Morfitt are following what happens in this case. Make sure you stay with CBS News Colorado on air, on our streaming service, and on our website, cbscolorado.com, for the latest information.